person I would like to introduce to give his talk today is Kun Fang from the Harbin Institute of Technology, and he's going to be giving a presentation about the welding of nanostructured bainite. Thank you. <coughs> Firstly, I should uh, thank you, Harry, for his uh, uh, invitation. Uh, I'm very glad to have this opportunity to give this uh, presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, I'm a doctoral student from Harbin Institute of Technology, uh, the state key laboratory of advanced welding and drilling. Uh, my research work is uh, uh, regeneration treatment on welding of nanostructured bayonet. <coughs> uh, the outlines of my presentation are as follows. First, uh, I will briefly introduce the uh, nanostructured bayonet. Uh, it's weldability and uh, the previous uh, welding method, and then um, I will introduce the regeneration technique in detail. Nano <coughs> uh, structured bayonet uh, has been uh, de development by uh, Badishi and his co workers in the past decade. Uh, this uh, um, bionetic studio uh, with uh, ultimate tensile strength uh, as high as uh, 2,500 uh, megapascal. Um, and, uh, uh, hardness in a range of uh, 600, uh, 600 to 670 uh, centi uh, meters hardness. Mechan um, remarkable mechanical properties uh, make the structural material show great potential for application, uh, especially in the range of transportation, uh, weaponry, and uh, uh, aerospace. Uh, Nano structured bayonet, uh, as mentioned, uh, as mentioned, uh, can be obtained by low tem low temperature transformation uh, in high carbon uh, silicon rich steel. Uh, however, uh, high carbon uh, concentration results in very poor uh, weldability of this material. Uh, during traditional welding, um, um, austenite uh, were formed in the uh, fusion zoo and uh, Austin uh, and uh, high temperature uh, heat affected zoo. Uh, it will transform the uh, into uh, brittle mountain set. Uh, the cold cracks will form as well. Uh, on the other hand, um, um, a lot of cementite will precipitated uh, in the uh, low temperature in the uh, low temperature uh, heat uh, uh, effect affected the zoo. Uh, it's uh, leading to the uh, decreasing of, it's leading to the decreasing of mechanical properties uh, of the weld. As a result, the uh, uh, industrial uh, application of this, this high carbon nanostructured bayonet uh, has been limited. Um, by far, only a career scholar attempt a uh, uh, post weld rapid heat treatment uh, uh, for welding this nano structure bayonet. Uh, cold cracks uh, has been prevented. But unfortunately, uh, a lot of cementite uh, precipitated in the, uh, in the weld and uh, in the welded joint and ruined, and, uh, uh, and ruined the mechanical properties. Uh, so uh, new technique should be prevented, uh, should, be, should be development uh, uh, using this method, the mechanical properties of the welded joint of nano structured bayonet should be uh, the similar to the um, original base metal. Consi uh, considering uh, the remarkable mechanical properties of the nano structured bayonet, the direct way is to uh, obtain um, Fine, but this is fine uh, bayonet again in the welded joint again after welding. Uh, this method is called uh, regeneration treatment. Uh, regeneration treatment uh, is designed uh, uh, like this uh, as the weld uh, cools towards the uh, bayonet start temperature. Uh, it was transferred into a furnace uh, set at a temperature between uh, BS and MS uh, and held there for a long time to permit. Uh, and this fine bayonet grows again uh, in the wild. <coughs> uh, an, uh, an experiment uh, has been uh, carried out. Uh, this is the chemical compositions 
and uh, the microstructures of the, the nanostructured bayonet. Uh, during welding, the temperature uh, is monitored by thermal couples. The regeneration time is five days, and the regeneration temperature is uh, 250 degrees. After welding, the structures in the fusion zone and the oxygenated zone uh, are film-like structures. Uh, these film-like structures uh, are uh, proved to be uh, nanoscaled bayonet and uh, uh, retained oxygenate other than martensite, uh, where uh, some cementite still precipitate in the tempered zone. Now let's have a look at the uh, mechanical properties of the uh, wider joint. From the hardness result, uh, it can be seen that uh, the, few, the hardness in the fusion zone and the oxygenated zone uh, are almost the same as the base metal. Uh, only the uh, hardness in the tempered zone a little, is a little lower. To obtain the strength of the wider joint, the, uh, first, the first tensile test sample is prepared. Uh, the strength is uh, 1680 megapascal. A little, a little lower than base metal. Uh, however, uh, this sample is failure in the tempered zone, not in the fusion zone and the alternated zone. Uh, so to obtain the mechanical properties of the fusion zone, the uh, second tensile test sample is prepared. Uh, this time, the strength is almost uh, 2,000 megapascal, uh, a little higher than base metal, and the uh, elongation is uh, about 40% uh, of the base metal. However, uh, uh, it confirms that uh, regeneration treatment uh, has successfully uh, realized the uh, required bayonet growth again uh, in the fusion zone and the alternated zone. And the, uh, and the mecha mechanical properties of the uh, fusion zone uh, and the alternated zone are almost the same as metal, base metal. However, uh, there are still some differences uh, of microstructure uh, in the fusion zone and uh, uh, from the base metal. And in, in interesting phenomenon is that a lot of cross structures uh, distributed uh, at the boundary of the columnar solidification structures. Uh, this is because of the welding segregation. Uh, theoretically, uh, these cross structures uh, Maybe uh, uh, maybe martensite or retained alternate. Uh, for the, uh, for the Natalie, uh, they are confirmed to be uh, retained alternate by TEM. Uh, and the uh, and the uh, fraction of cross retained alternate is uh, about forty percent of the total uh, uh, retained alternate. So uh, it can be uh, inferred that uh, the uh, cross structures keeping into uh, retained alternate is uh, an important factor for the uh, wild to have such a uh, good elongation. Now let's have a look at the, the, some um, effect uh, uh, factors. The first is the regeneration temperature. Uh, from this diagram, uh, by Lever Zoo, the uh, maximum fraction of returned alternate can be calculated by uh, OA divided, divided by AB. Uh, it become higher when the uh, regen regeneration temperature uh, increases uh, and uh, uh, become lower when the regeneration temperature uh, decreases. Uh, for nanostructured bayonet, uh, it's known that the uh, uh, the elongation is controlled by the return, the fraction of returned alternate, uh, and the uh, strength um, always uh, have the uh, opposite uh, changes of uh, the um, elongation. So the regeneration temperature uh, will have strong effect of the microstructures and the mechanical properties uh, of the uh, wider joint. By comparison, the uh, two wider joint with different uh, temperature, uh, two, 250 uh, centigrade and uh, 230 uh, centigrade, uh, the austenite fraction uh, 
increases with increasing uh, regeneration temperature, and the elongation increases the where the ultimate ultimate tensile strength uh, decreases. <coughs> the second uh, parameter is uh, regeneration time. Uh, when regeneration time is uh, uh, short, uh, the structure in the fusion zone and the austenitis zone uh, are um, um, binite, uh, martin set, and uh, uh, returned austenite. Uh, when the regeneration time increases, the fraction of return uh, fraction of uh, binite increases, uh, while the uh, fraction of martin set decreases. Uh, at last, the martin set disappears. Uh, the structures in the uh, fusion zone and the austenite zone only consists of uh, binite and returned austenite. <coughs> the effect of regeneration time on the mechanical properties can be uh, seen from the Hannes result. Uh, when the regeneration time is six hours, the Hannes uh, is much higher than base metal. This is because a lot of uh, mountain site forms here. Uh, when the regeneration time um, increase, increases, the hardness decreases. Uh, and, uh, and at last, the hardness is almost the same as base metal. The third parameter is uh, welding heat input. Uh, from the research above, uh, we know that uh, the by regen regeneration treatment, uh, the mechanical properties of the uh, fusion zoo and the alternative zoo are almost the same as base metal. This is because uh, fire by night uh, grows again in the two zoos. Uh, and the weaker part is the tempered zoo. <coughs> this is because uh, uh, the original basement, original microstructures uh, has been tempered in, in this area. <coughs> For tempering process, the most uh, important uh, uh, factor is the, uh, the heat input. Uh, uh, however, uh, the e evolution of nanostructured bayonet uh, during, during rapid and uh, high temperature Tempering and regeneration has not been uh, clear. Uh, first, uh, the microstructures in the uh, fusion zoo and in the tempered zoo uh, has been uh, op uh, has been obtained by the by using glibo. Uh, the the designed uh, peak tempering temperature is seven hundred uh, centigrade. Uh, this is the same cycle curves. Uh, different uh, cooling rate uh, means different, uh, uh, different heat input. Uh, by the XRD result, uh, it can be seen that uh, uh, the fraction of returned alternate uh, decreases with increasing uh, heat input. From the uh, microstructures, it can be seen that uh, uh, when the heat in, um, by lower by low heat input uh, tempering, the long film film like uh, returned alternate uh, almost unchanged, unchanged. Uh, only the short film like uh, uh, returned alternate uh, disappear between the long films disappears. Uh, well, uh, after high heat, uh, the returned alternate uh, become Mm, discrete, uh, it's, it's beneficial to the crack uh, propagation. From the TM result, uh, we can see that uh, the, mm, the, when, the, uh, when the heat input increases, uh, the disloc dislocation density uh, decreases, uh, and the size of cementite uh, become larger. All these results show that uh, the Mm, high heat input uh, is harmful uh, to the um, mechanical properties of the uh, welding joint. Uh, the effect of welding heat input on the mechanical properties uh, of the welding joint uh, has been uh, investigated by the two weld uh, with TIG and LBW. Uh, LBW is, uh, has much lower uh, uh, heat input than 
the uh, y, uh, y than t. Uh, both uh, uh, y joint uh, failure in the tempered rule. Uh, however, the strength of uh, strength of the y, y joint with LBW uh, is uh, higher than uh, that of that with T um, and uh, almost almost the same as base metal. By far, uh, an ideal, uh, ideal uh, uh, welded joint uh, has been uh, obtained uh, by the regenerating treatment. However, uh, there are still some problems should be considered. Uh, as uh, the first is I mentioned above, uh, the very long um, regenerating time. Uh, the second is the hot cracks. Uh, the third is how to use uh, this regeneration treatment in large scale the uh, uh, structures. Um, for the first uh, um, problems, uh, uh, it should uh, be solved by uh, promote uh, by promoting the binet uh, transformation. Um, uh, we uh, we are attempt uh, uh, several uh, method. Uh, uh, maybe uh, refine the microstruct, refine the um, uh, uh, green size of the alternate alternate, uh, or uh, introduction introduce some dislocations uh, uh, before uh, after welding and before uh, regeneration treatment. Uh, we are uh, uh, accumulate the uh, regener regeneration um, treatment. This is my conclusion. Thank you. You showed um, data at 250 degrees centigrade compared with 230 degrees centigrade. At yeah. what, what was the time of hold for those two comparisons, or those, that comparison? Um, the regeneration <coughs> time, how long was it? For the, uh, you, you showed two Both uh, five two. days. Five days? Yeah. And uh, at last, the, uh, in the regenerating time um, e uh, experience, uh, uh, it, it may be uh, one day, uh, the binet transformation uh, may be complete, complete, completed. Will it be possible to raise the temperature and lower the time? Maybe the um, binet start temperature uh, is uh, 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 limited. To what limit? Do we know? Um, no. OK. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Uh, just for everyone, I don't think the microphone's on, Martin. Uh, Martin was asking about the composition of the welding wire and the filler material. Oh, uh, to, perm to avoid the uh, welding defect, uh, the, we uh, the welding process is uh, uh, processed on a whole uh, uh, plate. Mm, B. Okay, thank you. I was, I was just wondering whether you had a chance to check for cracking. I, um, I didn't see, uh, I saw your tensile properties, but I don't know whether you've had a, a chance to look for evidence of cold cracking in the heat affected zone. Oh, mm, this, permit, uh, this experiment uh, uh, haven't uh, done, but uh, I think uh, it can be mm, done with uh, the uh, uh, in, in our uh, SEM and uh, uh, tensile and uh, see the result. Okay. Um, well done. I've tried uh, welding super bayonet myself and I've seen other people make an absolute pig's ear of it. Uh, so you've done a very good job in producing some very nice 
world microstructures and mechanical properties. In response to the five-day time, yeah. some things are just worth waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Professor Badisha, I believe, has come up with al aluminium and cobalt-containing alloys that transform more quickly. Um, so if you use those at a slightly higher temperature, you could probably reduce the uh, regeneration time to you know, 10 hours or something like that. And in terms of um, heating large structures, things like oil rigs and submarines are regularly made of steels that need preheating with thermal blankets. So that technology of, and I think the preheat on, or on some submarine steels are about 250 degrees C. So the technology is out there to, to um, protect or maintain large structures at the right temperatures of interest. But um, reiterate, excellent job. Very enjoyable. Thank you. Okay, okay um, we got last question from uh, Tata Steel Netherlands. Um, if the structure of the regeneration is the same as the base matter, why does the uh, elongating, elongation is lower? Uh, maybe uh, because uh, of the segregation uh, and uh, uh, during welding, uh, the uh, loss of carbon may be another uh, reason. Thank you. Did you have any preheat in uh, your samples? You did, mm. right? Okay, and uh, okay. So, okay, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> well, good job done. Uh, only one thing I didn't understand because you are doing normal welding and then you are trying to regenerate the welded chord. So how do you avoid cold cracking? Because you are definitely is going to experience cold cracking during welding. We avoid the temperature of the of the welder joint cool towards the uh, uh, um, side start temperature, and then it was sent into it was transferred into the furnace, and then cold cracks uh, is okay. avoid. Um, yeah, your last slide, you, you mentioned about uh, the, one of the worries uh, are uh, hot cracking. How, uh, how did it come? I mean, why uh, is that an issue there? This is uh, 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 the simple in my um, research is uh, very small. Uh, the hot, hot crack uh, may be uh, formed uh, when the, uh, uh, the thickness of the plant uh, uh, increases, and and uh, um, the result uh, of all the research uh, is uh, uh, from the samples uh, without hot cracks. But I find uh, the hot cracks uh, some uh, in some research. Thank you. What is the thickness of your sample? That's that's another question that hmm? uh, people want to ask. What? The thickness of the welded sample. Uh, two mm, millimeter to uh, four millimeter. So may I add a comment to it? It's a beautiful work. I think you should be able to see the residual stresses also. It may be pretty low too after welding. So if you measure the residual stresses because it's cooling very slowly and those things could be looked into that also to see what happened to that also. And uh, if you have a large scale plates, probably Peter can give you so you can weld it and see how the distortion plays a role too. So those would be very helpful if you're scaling up for a construction of this super beam. Okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. That was very entertaining. Very well done, thank you. Thank you.